we have a very special guest over here today she is there licking herself hi in this video today i am going to talk about a lot of sunscreens i think i made a sunscreen haul last year and now it's high time i should make another video regarding a lot of sunscreens before talking about sunscreen and all i want to quickly mention you that i have oily combination skin like my t-zone is oily and the rest of my face is normal so it's more like combination skin my skin type tends to change depending upon the weather like sometimes it's normal sometimes it's it's like combination sometimes it's super oily and the second biggest concern that my face sweats a lot a lot like the rest of my body part doesn't sweat at all all the sweat glands are on my face especially on my cheeks and uh, on my like over here basically on my forehead so while choosing a sunscreen i need to be very careful that it shouldn't make my face sweaty second it shouldn't make my face dull or you know the, the, the dullness and it's like lifelessness i don't like it at all so yeah i have today like a lot of i think i can't count so yeah let's get started so I have categorized the sunscreen in two parts. First are indoor sunscreens, second are outdoor sunscreens. Um, the, in, the indoor sunscreens, sometimes they make my face sweaty a bit or maybe dull a bit sometimes. So what I do, I dust up some sunscreen powder over it and fine. And my uh, second criteria of sunscreens that are outdoor sunscreen, they do not make my face sweaty at all. Like when I apply them, my, my face remains as fresh as morning dew. So yeah. Now let's get started with first the indoor sunscreens. Uh, I'm gonna be ranking all the sunscreen to my worst experience, to my best experience. So first I'm gonna start with this lactocalamine sunscreen. It was my first ever certified sunscreen and why I'm showing this to you guys like I've, I've shown you a million times on my channel but why I'm showing this to you particularly today because it is totally cheap. The, the price of this is 175 and it is like your in 175 rupees you are getting a certified sunscreen this is like totally indoor sunscreen and sunscreen is something we use a lot we use every day so if like there is no way people like us can try korean sunscreen on our day-to-day -day basis because our budget doesn't permit us to buy that many like so much costly sunscreens and um, basically when it comes to indoor sunscreens we don't feel sun that much so um, if even if we sweat a bit even if it makes our skin dull a bit it is not a matter of fact so yeah this is my first recommendation and when it comes to this sunscreen it doesn't make my face uh, sweaty at all but it does make my face dull like <laughs> dull. after applying the sunscreen it's like I'm, i haven't slept uh, for years and uh, my skin is so tired like it makes my skin tired but um, instead i i think i'll buy it because it is super cheap it has typical lactocalamine uh, smell and oh my god it was so bad so it is slightly pinkish in color i think my camera doesn't catch the pinkish hue but i think you can see it has like a really pinkish hue and they say it is for oily skin but it is not for oily skin like come on it is not for oily skin my second indoor sunscreen recommendation is this deconstruct uh, lightweight gel sunscreen uh, there is no way it is uh, gel because it is not gel it is like um, cloudy foamy in texture again has a pinkish hue and see like check the texture it is not gel like it is super cloudy in nature it doesn't make my face oily at all but it makes my face sweaty like it makes my face so much sweaty so i cannot use it outside and see it is like completely mattifying and it has like a cooling sensation into it also and it the price is i think 3 359 or something uh, 349 it is it is like really affordable sunscreen so it is a best sunscreen for indoor and makeup doesn't sit too well on top of the sunscreen so i don't use it over makeup too uh, but yeah this is a great indoor option my third indoor sunscreen is minimalist multivitamin sp50 sunscreen i don't know why i keep buying this sunscreen this sunscreen make my face so 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 sweaty it doesn't make my face so much oily in compared to the lactocalamine sunscreen but yeah it does make my but yeah, it, it does make my face a bit like slightly dewy, dewy and yeah. And that is why I use it in the inside and the texture is like, nowadays we are craving for gel sunscreens like the Korean and Japanese sunscreen but this one's texture is super weird. Like you have to keep working on it for a really long time and then it somehow gets absorbed into your skin and it's not that sticky. I don't use it over makeup also because 
as I, as I say it makes my face a lot sweaty so I cannot use it under makeup and sometimes it the sunscreen balls up so if you don't hydrate your skin well it is gonna be balling up it's gonna start balling up so yeah this is a thing it is my uh, third inner sunscreen recommendation because this is somewhere cheap third inner sunscreen recommendation is this plum green tea SPF 35 pH triple plus sunscreen this it has like I think it's my second bottle no this one yeah this one my second bottle so yeah this is my first bottle this is my second bottle so the reason I got it because it it, it has like this creamy gel like soothing texture that I like but it makes my face dull but it doesn't make my face sweaty at all so see the texture this is so comfortable and I think it was my first ever this light gel gel like sunscreen that that's why like I got another one of it but it never really worked for me because uh, the moment I apply it, it, it feels good. But after a few minutes, it, it makes my face dull and I cannot reapply this sunscreen. It is the biggest reason. That's why I don't use it outside. This sunscreen is good. It is overall a good formulation. But when I reapply it, it makes my face super, super, super oily and dull. My next indoor sunscreen is this, uh, the Blazing Tree Sunscreen Lotion. This was my, like one of my favorite sunscreens and it doesn't make my face sweaty. It doesn't make my face dull. It is like so good but the only reason I use it inside because uh, it is not certified sunscreen if it was a certified sunscreen I, I, I would use it outside every season every time all the moment and it is fairly affordable like for 100 ml you need to pay I think three 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 forty two two forty nine something yeah 250 for 100 ml you need to pay 250 and the texture is so amazing like see it is a hybrid it is a hybrid formula and i think it this is my third bottle and you need to work a bit on this sunscreen but when you are done applying it it gives this like slightly whitish hue to your skin and don't worry that this hue kind of goes away within 5 minutes and after that it it gives this like really subtle dewy glow that i love so much but i don't use it like as i said it is not a certified sunscreen so that is the biggest reason i don't use it outside but it is one of my favorite sunscreens one of the favorite all time sunscreens like i genuinely like this formulation and if you haven't tried it like try it once maybe you're gonna fall in love with the formulation and all that you're, you're gonna start using it inside also my last indoor sunscreen recommendation uh, is like this sunscreen this is the dr shet healthy and hyaluronic acid sunscreen this doesn't make my face sweaty it doesn't make my face dull the only reason is that whenever i use it it makes my eyes itchy and irritated and i don't like the feeling and whenever i reapply it the, the irritation the itchiness kind of doubles up so <laughs> i don't use it outside because when i'm outside i need to reapply my sunscreen in every two or uh, three hours and if i apply this sort of formulation every moment uh, my eyes like forget my like my eyes are gonna be dead for that day that is why i don't use it outside uh, but when i'm inside like when i'm outside i tend to reapply my sunscreen three or four times depending on the weather or if i'm outside like out in the sun or not but when i'm home like right now i'm home and i only reapply my sunscreen twice a day like one is uh, when i wake up and i take shower i use my sunscreen that time and the second application is around uh, 2, 2 p.m uh yeah 2 1 or 2 pm and yeah this is it because i i don't face sun when i'm indoors at all and this is a really great outdoor sunscreen that could it could be outdoor sunscreen for some for someone who doesn't feel itchiness or the, the irritation around the eye but i feel it that is why i you know what i can only reapply the sunscreen once and that's all i cannot reapply the sunscreen over and over again so that is why i mainly use it in the inside and let me uh, sh uh, sh uh, show you the texture also this is a like this is a super great gel like texture when you apply it it feels thick like it seriously feels thick but when you keep rubbing it it it, it becomes like a gel like moisturizer super comfortable on the skin and yeah like see it is it has disappeared see it has disappeared and the only white issue on my hand is because of this blessing tree sunscreen because as i told you before it gives the slightly whitish hue into your skin so yeah so yeah this is all my indoor sunscreen recommendation these are the six of them i i, I showed you from worst to the best one and if you genuinely ask me what is the best indoor sunscreen for my skin tone i'm gonna go with this blessing tree
all time favorite like OG okay I, I can see this video is gonna be a bit long so yeah now let's talk about outdoor sunscreens uh, from be worst to well worst to best yeah so I'm gonna start with oh my god like I don't I can't like I can't I love every like I love each one of them so you know what there is no worst to best I love everything that I'm gonna show you right now so yeah this I can marry the sunscreen so this is this conscious chemist sunscreen sunscreen you know what like there's no one out there who cannot fall in love with the sunscreen uh, someone asked me in my insta saying uh, recommend me a sunscreen I have oily skin and my face skin sweats too and I recommended him this sunscreen yeah it was a boy and he he, he, he thanked me like really he thanked me because of its formulation so you know what I have made a dedicated review regarding this uh, sunscreen so when you do this the pump is a bummer the pump never works really well so when you scoop it out it feels like it is the thick moisturizer but when you blend it like it it it, it like soaked into your skin deep into your skin and it doesn't leave any sort of oiliness greasiness nothing and you know what is the best part there are like sunscreen even there are sunscreen that makes my face sweaty because as i told you before my face sweats a lot but when i apply even reapply this sunscreen it never make my face sweaty never never ever even when i was in like i remember i was in a barakpur railway station and it was really a hot day and uh, it was like during my i think chsl exam one one year ago i think yeah I, I don't know the date that time when I was in a railway track like I was sweating from here I was sweating like it was a really hot day but I reapplied the sunscreen where is the sweatiness like I, I was so afraid and I think it is my second bottle whenever I go outside I prefer to use this sunscreen and guys if you haven't tried this one out you gotta try it out uh, the price of this is $5.99 but grab it from foxy wait for the sale you're gonna get it at flat 50 percent discount every time i got it from foxy i i wait for the sale and when it was like 50 percent discount from them i i grab it yeah so yeah this is my first recommendation if you're going outside you're gonna need this baby in your life my second outdoor sunscreen is this ceramide sunscreen from dr shit this is such a beautiful formulation there is no way i can like i can say the, the bad about the formulation and everything it, it, it again got the similar healthy sunscreen like texture so comfortable on the skin the moment you apply it it ge gets soaked up into your skin and like it, it gives this like a uh, so soothing sensation that you're never gonna forget trust me but I cannot apply it over makeup like when uh, whenever I'm going outside and I need to apply makeup a bit because of some function or so I, I don't apply this because when I apply my makeup over it my makeup balls up my my makeup start to create balls so this is not a good sunscreen over makeup I have even I have oily sweaty skin still uh, this is not a good option over makeup but other than that you can reapply it multiple times it doesn't it is gonna it is not going to make your skin sweaty or dull or like nothing you are gonna love this sunscreen like trust me and um, do I need to talk about the sunscreen because this is this pink sunscreen I've used bottles of it there's no way I cannot love the sunscreen it again gives this whitish hue to your skin how many times you reapply it um, it is never gonna make your skin dull or anything because see like it gets absorbed into your skin super fast and after absorbing it it gives this like slightly whitish hue and the whitish hue kind of goes away real fast don't worry about it and it, it has this like cooling sensation into it also and overall if you have oily extremely oily skin i think this is the best option for you because it doesn't have the creamy consistency that the oily skin people are gonna enjoy so yeah it, it is an og formula <laughs> you are definitely going to love this sort of formulation both of th both of them are my outdoor sunscreen but if you ask me which one i love the most i cannot tell you that because it depends again it depends on the weather if it is winter i'm gonna prefer the glow one more than the pink one and if it is summer like it is hot outside then i would apply this uh, uh, radiance plus sunscreen because it, it doesn't have any sort of creaminess into it it feels like watery tint like a tint like you're up, you're applying sunscreen tint on your skin more like a water you're you're applying water on your skin it feels like water so these two are my like i've used again i've used bottles of it i've, I've used bottles of it this is a best sunscreen if it is if the weather is cold or the weather is dry 
and this is the best sunscreen if there is so humidity in the weather my next outdoor sunscreen is my recent obsession you can say this is this whisk uh, wish care this is the wish care invisible sunscreen i don't know what they got it but this is freaking amazing like it it, it has i think i am already done with this tube so it has like this um you know a, a slightly uh whitish hue in the sunscreen but this is invisible like the moment you apply it within a second like it get it gets invisible into your skin but yeah you need to work a bit to blend this sunscreen because blending this sunscreen is a work this is a task so you need to blend it for i think for my face i need to blend it on for uh, 15 to 20 seconds and then it gets absorbed into my skin but when it gets absorbed it is like it becomes completely invisible makeup goes like a bomb over this sunscreen but i don't use it on my makeup days because i have other sunscreen that i apply on my makeup days uh no matter how many time you reapply it it is not going to make your skin dull like for my skin it doesn't make my face dull it does not make my face sweaty and god i'm so grateful that it doesn't make my face sweaty because when i'm choosing a sunscreen my biggest concern is that it shouldn't make my face sweaty because if 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 it is making my face dull i can somehow use powders something to uh, cancel out the dullness but when a sunscreen makes my face sweaty it is the end for that sunscreen but this is my recent obsession like guys if you haven't tried it yet try it and if you want a detailed review uh, regarding this sunscreen i will gladly make it baby you just need to ask my final outdoor sunscreen is this minimalist sunscreen stick obviously because it is in a stick formula that is why it doesn't matter if whatever you are applying it doesn't matter if you are applying makeup or not um, you can apply this and it has like this really soothing and cooling sensation the only negative point about the sunscreen is that if you have oily skin you are not going to enjoy the the effect that it's going to provide you because it gives like this oily like uh, really subtle oily film and i don't know but when it is so hot in the weather is so hot super hot this slightly oiliness can be too much for some people because for me it is too much for the hot summer days Do you know what i already got a backup also it is a sealed one yeah can you hear it it is a sealed one um I don't think I should open the seal right now but yeah I got a backup also because uh, this sunscreen um, it ends up real fast I think the best way every skin type can apply it with a sunscreen powder don't uh, this is a sunscreen powder from Kiashet umbrella I use it with my makeup also I use it for baking I use it for on over, like I use it over my sunscreen also to cancel out the dullness so yeah uh, mix this two up and you are good to you can uh, use it with any other sunscreen compacts uh, or, or that in caffeine sunscreen powder and you are like good like this sunscreen is enough talk about this um, this sunscreen so this is my first ever powder sunscreen and i don't know if it does like uh, provide the protection or not because i don't see that many uv filters in this packaging see when i uh, see it is it doesn't have like full ingredient list it only have active ingredients that are sandalwood lavender essential oil witchcraft oil tinosorb s talc oxide color so tinosorb s is a sunscreen filter but i don't know if it is enough for enough or not but yeah if you are uh, like you can try this you can grab this but don't use it on its own use it over your uh, slightly greasy uh, sunscreen formulations and you are enough like whenever i go outside trust me i i take this puff I put some compact like this powder in it and I wrap it around in a tissue paper and whenever I am using this sunscreen stick like I'm reapplying the sunscreen stick on my over my face so I I take this like this and then I dab it like this and you won't believe like see there is no shine compared to this side this side is so 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 shiny and I have as I have oily skin even this much shininess is too much for me so yeah I just grab this with me all the time I do this and it instantly cancels out all the you know extra oiliness that I don't want mattifying face obviously you can use the powder too much because right now there wasn't any powder <laughs> on that puff so you you can say my skin is slightly dewy but yeah if you apply a, a bit heavy powder over it then it makes your skin truly 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 matte so i'm going to show you the sunscreen that is my heart because this sunscreen is a gem under makeup this is this arthritum sunscreen it doesn't make my face sweaty 
first of all and second of all it doesn't make my face dull but it makes my face so dewy super dewy and it even like blurs out my pore pore like it it gives uh, that you know uh, how can i say it like that uh, snatched face like the snatched look and yeah let me show you so this is the texture the texture is gel like but it it easily gets absorbed into the skin so fast and it it gives like you know see the oiliness it gives like so much not it's not oiliness but it is like dewiness it gives super high definition of dewiness that is gonna like and that because of that the makeup glides like a butter over this makeup i mean this sunscreen blur i don't know what i'm saying but they, if you are a makeup girl like most of the times when i am shooting for reels or whenever i like most of the times when i'm going outside and uh, i need to do makeup i i try to use it with this this sunscreen because as i as i say because it, it gives like this uh, snatched face Damn, and it's like so easy to glide any sort of makeup uh, because uh, with my concealer what I do I, I mostly use my fingers to blend my products and it gives it really gives this like you know that soft uh, within natural finish uh, most of the times I use my fingers so that is why I need my base to be super uh, dewy not oily but like super um, buttery like and that's what it gives me this is a gem if you are a makeup lover you need to try it on under your makeup you are going to thank me like trust me you are going to thank me my next sunscreen uh, is this uh, sunscreen for lips don't ever forget your lips your ears your neck even your hands because they, they also show signs of aging yeah don't ever forget them or you can do something you can buy the you know summer gloves summer uh, something gloves uv gloves uh, from amazon i i use it i'll show you I, I can show that in another video but yeah for this video uh, you have to use this sort of you know any sort of uh, spf lip balm sebamed has one neutrogena has one minimalist has you can see this is like hard waxy super waxy in texture it has it it has got like this um what is it, like this yellow tint in it but the moment you apply it on your lips it becomes nothing and it doesn't change the color of your lipsticks also and it is sweat proof it is waterproof this is the best part you can reapply it under your lipstick over your lipstick the, the way you want it this is a great formula the, the only con is that it's packaging like look this and this the cap the cap has broken the, the the this packaging is a bummer i i hope minimal just changes the packaging please just change the packaging please please and the other lip protection lip balms are this uh, blue heaven lip tints uh, i mean blue heaven lip balms and they are in caramel brown and dusty rose in shade so this is how they look i don't know if they are certified or not but for the slightest hue you can apply them or what what you can do like what i do most of the times i i like i use my minimalist lip balm and over that i apply this lip balms gives me such a natural hue and this is all i want that is all for today i'm not gonna draw it any further and my brothers they are making weird noises uh and i'll see you guys in the next video if you like this video don't forget to like this video share this video if you want to and i'll see you guys in the next video bye yeah and you can follow me in my instagram also my instagram id is in the description and yeah bye